Spain was hit by a double-dip recession between 2008 and 2013. But are things now turning around for this European country? Things are better now in Spain. Uh, we can see that the last two years we have had uh, positive growth and we also have a, a better situation overall. Uh, this has been helped by some structural reforms implemented by the Spanish government, but also the impact from a better economic environment in the entire Eurozone. Uh, furthermore, the lower commodity prices have definitely helped Spain, and we can see equity markets have nearly doubled since the dip in 2012, and also bond yields are at a uh, multi-year low. It's not all good news for Spain, though. Despite the, the good numbers and the good development, there are also some uh, bad numbers. Uh, the unemployment in Spain is simply too high at 22%, and especially it's the youth un unemployment that is very high. Also, the housing prices are still uh, very low compared to the levels we saw in 2000, 2007, but still they are in an improvement and also the unemployment is on its way down. So does Simon think now is the right time to invest in Spain, and if so, what in particular is catching his eye? If you compare the Spanish equity markets to other European equity markets, we can see a slightly under uh, performance. And I think also looking at the recent dip in European equities, it's a good timing to look at Spanish equities, but also some of the corporate bonds we really favor at the moment. So the names uh, we look at at the moment could be, for instance, uh, Banco de Santander, both uh, the bond and the equities we like, uh, the retailer Inditex is interesting. Other names could be Campo Frio and Telefonica.